Hello and welcome back to the Austrian State Challenges. Last time around we did Burgenland and you can see how unexperienced I am when recording in full screen because I completely forgot about it. Straight away. Just did a whole episode without going full screen. Anyway, I'm going to remember to do that this time. Uh, we're going to start off with Kanten. Well, we start off with Kanten. This episode is going to be focused on Kanten, which is Corinthian English. You usually won't like you don't find the English uh, state names of Austrian states anywhere. It's just not a thing. But just if you might you might know some of them, so I thought I, you know mention it. Uh, Corinthia, this relatively big state down here, near the Slovenian and Italian border. Also, as far as I know, if you're placed somewhere near the border, you will find town names in Slovenian. We'll see if we can find them. Uh, also, just again, remember, Corinthia, postcode 9. Alright, let's go. And this time, full screen. There we go. Alright, let's start the game. Uh, what do we have around here? We're in a bigger city, Klagenfurt. Brilliant, the capital of Corinthia. We start off with we already found a capital. We haven't been in one so far in this series, so that's exciting. Uh, again, Burghof Klagenfurt, just a castle somewhere around Klagenfurt. It looks to be a very uh, central Bahnhofstraße. Bahnhof is... Uh, I'm completely blanking on the, the English word for it right now. How? Like, that's the most standard word ever. Uh, train station. Jesus Christ. Okay. Bahnhof just means train station. Uh, and the other one is Burggasse. So we'll quickly look if we can find those. And then we'll take a tour through Klagenfurt. Burggasse is here. And Bahnhofstraße is here. So we're slightly east. So we're here somewhere. You can see this shop on here. Uh, we're standing in front of another closed shop that isn't actually on the map. And there <laughs> behind us is another closed shop. And this over there is a music shop. And yeah, we'll just, I, we don't care too much about that. Still, uh, I think architecturally... I can't really compare this to any of the rounds we've had so far because obviously buildings are a lot higher in cities. That's actually a funny, funny uh, mascot for a pet shop. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just make a round through a city a bit, see how many uh, indications you can find as to which city you're in because that's usually a big thing. Uh, that's just a garage. Usually, if you find a sign with a P on it, P stands for parking in German as well. And, yeah, you can find a lot of these around, especially in cities. Sparkasse is another very famous Austrian bank. We've got most of them right now. Also, just that, yeah, that is there. Don't be misled by it. Uh, what do we have around here? We've got the... State flag. I think I saw the state flag before somewhere. I can't see where it went to right now. Interesting. We are the city of women. That's news to me, but sure. Again, similarly to Germany, you'll have a lot of these pillars around that usually give decent information on where you're at. Again, here you can see... Uh, why? What is that just bad? Uh, just a bad picture? I can't tell. I don't know why they've done this because this is basically Kanten, just in a different uh, grammatical form of it. And they've split up the like the A, like the, the A equivalent of this letter. They've split it up into an A and an E that are somehow together, like in the Danish, uh, in the Danish language. I don't know why. 
they've done that. Might be something with bordering Slovenia, I don't know. Also, you can find a lot of these uh, paper, they're not called newspaper dispensers, let's call them that, uh, very frequently. And usually, like, this was a dispenser for the, the for Österreich, which is one of the <laughs> newspapers in Austria. So that should tell you where you are. Uh, buses in Austria. Huh. I'm not actually sure whether they tell you a lot. I'd like to go this way, but the game doesn't want me to. Okay, we'll go back. Again, uh, another bus stop sign. In this scenario, this says Canton right here, so you can also see that A eh, there. Uh, doesn't really tell you much usually. In this case, it does tell you the state, so it can be useful on occasion. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these vans also have information on where you are. In this case, again, it doesn't. But also, again, don't don't be misled. There can be a lot of misleading stuff around Austrian cities. Just be careful with these. Don't just go to the first... Oh, God, where the... Uh, yep, there's a lot of rural parts of Corinthia as well. Absolute middle of nowhere here. Uh, okay, we made it to, to a, a decent-sized road. Weisenberg. I mean, again, I'm just going to repeat that basically at the start of every episode. I don't really know much in Corinthia in terms of cities or where they are for the small ones. Here you can see, again, postcode of a 9, Corinthia. Never heard of Metatrixen, so I don't suspect we'd find it relatively quickly, especially because Corinthia isn't exactly small. So we'll just try to make our way to a sign with a bigger city on it. I do these, these kinds of rounds occasionally also just to show you how long it would take to find signs in Austria. Uh, that's one of the Austrian phone companies. Uh, here is T-Mobile. I don't actually know if that's strictly Austrian, but that should be another good indication of you being in Austria. Uh, what, what do these signs say? Terpetzen. Also never heard of it. You can see already, though, uh, Carinthia a lot more mountainous than what we had in Burgenland or Lower Austria. Let me just say Lower Austria does have mountains, but it's not quite as much as some parts of Carinthia because you, you have the Alps down here and they extend about till there. So you might actually be somewhere over here. Completely forgotten what the towns were called, but, you know. Um... Anything else we can find? Kulturradweg Völkermarkt. Völkermarkt, on the other hand, should be findable because I recognize it. That now doesn't mean that I will find it, but I can at least give it a try. There is Völkermarkt. There is Wallersberg. So that might be where we are. Can I find Tapetzen? That was somewhere as well. Uh, Berg, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned that before. Berg just means mountain. So if it's called St. Peter am Wallersberg, that means it's usually near a mountain called Wallersberg. Uh, so that doesn't have to, like that mountain doesn't have to be here. It can be here, for example, as well, or somewhere over here, somewhere over here, maybe. Oh, there's Weisenberg. That was where we were. I just completely found that by random. There's also Mittertrixen, which I saw, and there's Terpetzen, which I saw. Uh, St. Veil, by the way, another uh, another name you have to be careful with. That's quite generic. Sankt basically means saint. So you'll see that a lot. And Veil was one so such saint. You'll have another St. Veil over here. You'll have a another St. Veil over here. And you'll have another one that I'm not quite aware of where it is it's somewhere over here i think but i'm not entirely sure you have lots of these as well by the way there's another robot right there for you 
and I've mentioned in the Burgenland episode. Uh, so yeah, we were somewhere up here, I guess. Let me just go back to this. It was pretty straight west east. This isn't exactly straight, but we'll just make our way over there. And see what we can find here. Also, one of the problems in Austria with Google Street View is they didn't cover much except the main roads. So, especially if you know in a part like this, you'll get to a lot of junctions where you just can't go, uh, where you just can't go this way, for example. Doesn't let you go there, isn't covered. You've got this sign here. Uh, which I think is here. I think we're right here right now. Claim should start with yes. So we are somewhere here. I think we're somewhere there. So we'll just go for that. We've only got 19 seconds remaining. Yep. Did good. Let's continue. Again, we're in a more mountainous area of Corinthia. I like that. There are mountainous areas around. Although I don't have good memories of mountainous areas in Corinthia because uh, when I was about 12 or so, I've said before that we used to go to Corinthia on holiday uh, every year, sometimes even twice a year for four days to a pension near the Mönchstätter See. And one of these holidays, uh, some of the people we knew there, they have a farm, Not well, it's called an Alm. I don't think that's there's actually any direct translation that w that is used a lot in English because it's a very uh, alpine sort of thing basically only really done a lot in like Switzerland, Austria and that sort of area which is basically a uh, a house with sometimes cattle up in the mountains somewhere and well, my parents decided this time we wanted to go up there and I'm afraid of heights and the roads weren't exactly uh, very wide, just enough for one car to go up there and yeah, at the side of the road it was very steep and that drive up there took about 15 to 20 minutes which wasn't fun <laughs> all right we found Feldkirchen by now so we know somewhat where we are we have Deutschgriffen as the sit as the town we were in or the town we're in right now the question now is Ebene Reichenau Rauschecken Hochrindl that's where we were roughly Rauschecken is up there the, which part of town did this Wirt, uh, which is also just another restaurant type of thing? Could we find that on the map somewhere? This one right here. So we were up this path. Uh, it's difficult to tell which way we took. So let's go back up there for a bit. Uh, this. I think just based on this sort of uh, landscape, vegetation, etc., you couldn't really tell which Austrian state you're in. Did we come from up here? I don't think we did. Let's let's go up there and let's go down again. You have a lot of um, I don't actually know what they're called. These these sort of roads that wind a lot. They're called Serpentinen in German, and I really like that word. I, don't think there's a good English word for it. There are some English words. I've looked them up before. But I'm not particularly fond of either of them. It was very windy. And then it just stopped being that windy. <laughs> Let's just go with that. I'd like to make it to the place where we were before. Just to judge which direction we went from there on. Uh, we went up west still west what about down here I've still not reached that part have I also west I think that was it just go west all the time and I think it might be here 
Uh, yeah, it could also be this here, but I don't think we, no, we definitely weren't. I think this is, this is more likely. We went up here west here. I think we went here. Up here and through this somewhere, maybe up here. Let's just go for it. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, yeah, but this could have been based on vegetation. I think it could have just as well been in Tyrol somewhere. Maybe in some other parts as well. We were down there. Yeah, that's that makes sense, I guess. Uh, again, not too mountainous, but you can see sort of hills on the side of the road. Still, even if it's not in a too mountainous area. A lot of Austria is just towns in valleys especially more towards the south like the northeastern part less so especially the further south you get the more valley like everything becomes in this case well another good thing about austria is that like sure having lots of towns means it's more difficult to find the town itself on the map but it also means that you're more likely to find a town while just randomly going through uh, through the state or any sort of road you get placed on. This here has Schwarzplatz Kapelle am Krapfeld. I've never heard of that. It's apparently 1.5 kilometers from here. Uh, what, should, what do we have here? Althofen, Hüttenberg and Guttering. Never heard of either of them. So my first reaction is they're probably somewhere over here. But I don't really know whether that's true. Hüttenberg. Huh, let me have a quick look through. Because I'm not convinced that we'll find uh, much better signs. Especially if that's like 14 kilometers away. I think I might be too far out in terms of zoom level as well. Oh, no, I'm not. There's Hüttenberg. Okay, now the question is, which direction is it to Hüttenberg? It says east, but there's not exactly a lot of going east that you can do here. Uh, Guttering. Maybe you can find that. Guttering is here. Althofen is here. So we're somewhere between the two. Uh, which street? This has a street name, doesn't it? Capella uh, Straße. Um, yes. Now the question is, can we find that somewhere? I don't actually think we are there. Let me just find a town name again. I don't know if I have found that before. But if I have, I can't remember it. It's right here anyway. Silbeck. Okay, yeah, we're down here. At the moment, at least, Kapellerstrasse is this. We were east of it. I'm pretty sure. Yes. All right, let's go to the start. It's a very northern place. Uh, northern street, I mean. It also is a very northern place in Carinthia, if you look here. The Carinthia stops here. So even while that wasn't what I wanted to say, it still holds up true. Uh, Hair Paradise. That seems like a weird place to put a shop like that, but I mean, do whatever you want. I don't care. Christophos Weg and a car uh, car washing station, I guess. Maybe we're somewhere here. Let me just go a bit further north. Christophos Weg, yes. Uh, Kuss Autodienst basically means kiss car service, which is also a very interesting name. Probably just the last name of the person who created the the uh, store or service. We're somewhere here. Let me just quickly see if I can find this right here. So we're somewhere further, maybe here. Let's just go with that. Yep. One meter. All right. And for the last round, 
we're near we're near a town that says Milstead, or near a town that's close to Milstead and the Milstead to see here. So I like that. We're also we're only eighty nine, so we're also close to Bad Kleinkirchen and Radenstein. Bad Kleinkirchen is also rather well known. It's a skiing area. I think there's been uh, skiing competitions, like international skiing competitions there before. I've also spent, I think, one day in one resort around here once that I've completely forgot until now. But, you know, that happened. There's also still just like you saw right there. Maybe I can find it again. There's these random bits of censorship on some of the Austrian roads, like this. Like, what are you trying to censor here? There's nothing there. And the censorship is gone again. Nothing happens. All right. Uh, we've got a town sign here. We don't have a town sign here. Never mind. Oberdorf. Oberdorf is to the east of this intersection. Probably this little village. So this is very north, uh, not north. Yeah, it is north south. So maybe we're over here somewhere. Uh, wait, this is the eighty eight. Hmm. It said on the ninety eight. So maybe we're somewhere down here. Maybe here. I don't know actually. Do we have a? Niederdorfer Straße Friedrich Ginger Weg. You know what? Back to strategy A. I'll just call that from now on. Look for a. Well, look for this. Treffen. <laughs> now, Treffen is a funny name because it just means meet. Meet in the sense of to meet someone, not in the sense of food. But here is Treffen. And that doesn't even say that added on part here which is interesting uh was it this it was i'm pretty sure i can't see oberberg what was it i can't remember there's a spa here also very famous supermarket in austria again i'm not entirely sure whether that's a uh whether that's only in austria yeah, but this is that thing. Yeah, so we definitely are south of this somewhere around here. Doesn't matter too much. Let's see if we can find some some last things in Karinfa before. Oh, auf Wiedersehen in der Marktgemeinde treffen. That just means goodbye or well, literally translated, it means I hope to see you again in a sort of way uh, in the Marktgemeinde are uh how do I how do I explain that? Similarly to states, but much, much smaller. It's actually just uh like you've got city, you've got town, and that's sort of town, I think. I've got a difficult time to describe that concept in, in English because I couldn't really describe it well in German either. I just know that it's a smaller form of a, of a city, basically. I don't know what the exact things are that you have to do to become that. Uh, and if it, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. So, radio stations. ORF, very famous Austrian. Again, whenever I say very famous, I mean very famous in Austria. A uh, very famous Austrian company that has basically Austrian television covered uh and right below that i think it says radio canton the k is a pretty pretty much a giveaway but i think it says canton down there as well so that should tell you you're in, you're in canton anything else don't think so we've got little that's not uh that's not only in austria that's an international supermarket Villach, oh yeah, I should talk about famous uh, Corinthian cities. I've done so in, in Low Austria and Burgenland. We'll just let the timer run down and then I'll do so. Uh, there we go. We got, well, we were a bit too far north. 
Oh, well, I didn't want that. Okay. Let me go back. Actually, I don't need to go back. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just quickly tell you about some of the more famous cities. You've seen Klagenfurt, the capital. You've also got uh, Villach, which is one of the bigger cities. You've got Spital and Adrau. You've got St. Pferd and Aglan here. You've got Wolfsberg here. Also a city with a club in the first division in Austria in terms of football. Volkermarkt isn't too, too obscure. And you might even get signs for Lienz over here, which is in Eastern Tyrol and not in Carinthia, but it's close. Maybe Hermogoy as well, or Felden. I think that's relatively famous as well. I can't remember why, but, you know, we actually didn't find any town signs with, with another language on it. Maybe if I go here, I'll just, I'd like to find one of these quickly. Because I've, I've personally never seen them, to be honest, but I've been told that they are there. So maybe if we go to... What about here? No, that's that's unlikely. Mm, what about there? If I go here, and if we continue going north there... Nope. No Slovenian any signs. Never mind then. Maybe it was just a, a controversial thing that was talked about and never actually gone through with. But whatever. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Austrian States. I'll see you guys next time.